Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with XYZ PDQ by Rockrat Zero. So this continues our zipper theme week. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, let's go over the rules. So in every word, we have normal six by six Sudoku rules. So in every row, every column, and every two by three box, we are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. We also have this these lavender lines in the grid. Those are called zipper lines. So the way zipper lines work is uh, digits that are equidistant from the line center. This is these are even length lines, so we're using a diamond for that. Um, but these two cells, these two cells, and these two cells, they all sum to the same amount. So if I were to have, say, I don't know, a two and a uh, let's not put two. Let's put a wow. What can I put here? Uh, uh, let's put a four here and a five here. Right? Those sum to nine. That means that these also sum to nine, and these also sum to nine. So hopefully that's clear. So. We're pretty open with the sum. It can be larger than six on even length lines. So these are a little bit harder to think about. So it'll be interesting to go through the logic here. Uh, we also have thermometers in the grid. Those are these um, little two length uh, thermos here, these lines with a circle. So because these are all two length, I can just say that the digit in the circle is smaller than the digit uh, on the connected line. Um, so thermometers increase from the bulb end. And that's it. Those are the rules. Uh, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, how do we want to get started? This this is pretty large, right? This is only for uh, four or five or six. Um, and it's adding to something that's at least two. Um, yeah, we could do two, one here. Okay. This cell is not one or three or five. So this is four. It can't be six. So uh, it's two or four. And then this has to be bigger than two. It's not three. So this is four or six because it's not five. Interesting. That's four. That has to be six. So that's two. It could be either. OK, let's look at this one then. It can't be one. Could it be two? Two, one does seem to work. Uh, it would make the sum six. Oh, and that's, is that a problem? No, I could do five, one. I was trying to think, oh no, I can't. Hold on. So let's think about this. If this was a two, that makes this a four. That makes our sum six on this zipper line. How are we getting to six? Well, we're certainly not using a six. We're also not using four and two here. This can't be a two anymore. And we're not using five and one because you can't put one on, on this side of a thermo. So we are not putting a two here. Not that I really want it to be small, but anyway. So it's not one, it's not two, it's not three. Does four has the same exact problem. We can't make this add to six with four, two. So this is only five. And so now our sum is either seven or nine. So if we wanted to add to seven, we could do six, one. Oops, no, we can't do six, one. Uh, we could do five. We can't do five. Can we do five, two? We could do five, two. Five, two or four, three. Okay, that would force this to be one. If this added to nine, then we would be six, three, five, four, can't do five, four, or four, five, can't do four, five. So if this added to, if this was five plus four, adding to nine, we would have to do six, three. Interesting. So this doesn't actually add any, yeah, so this is only two or three. So this does have to be a one, no matter what. Very interesting. So this is no longer a one or a two. This is three or four because it can't exceed five. It can't be five or higher, I should say. That makes this sum pretty big. It's at least seven. Which means that this, oh, and, and it's max seven. Interesting, yeah. So this has to be one plus six, and this has to be three plus four. That makes this a two. That does add to seven now. So we are putting a three here with a four to add to seven. Four needs to be, this can't be six, so this has to be with a five, and that's a three. Um, okay, so that adds to seven. They both add to seven, interestingly. Um, that's probably not too surprising, because seven has the most ways to add to it. Um, all right, let's put two, three, six here. Yeah, we can already fill that out. And then let's put one, four, five here. We can fill that out too. Okay, and so now one plus six again. That's in the tip of a thermo, not to, ex uh, and this is also done. So, that, oops, sorry, that's a four. I scanned wrong. Um, okay, this pair here, we need a one and we need a six. 
Over here, we need a four and a six. Those are done. Over here, we need a one and a two. Just typing in all the digits. Uh, we need a two here. Down here, we need a one and we need a five. Here, we need a five. And then over here, we need two and three. They go this way and we're done. Cool. That was actually really interesting, Rockrat. I liked how this being two or four only, and then we couldn't make this sum to six because of the interaction between these. That was really neat. So that excluded two and four from here, which just completely basically collapsed the whole puzzle. Um, and then there was also this being minimum three, four, and this had a one on it. That was also really interesting. So there were a lot of really cool deductions as we went through. So I really enjoyed that. Thanks, Rockrat. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.